Okay, continuing with our Blender Sequencer tutorials. Today we're going to get into video effects a little bit. Um, there's some built right into Blender. Um, example, if I select this uh, little video clip here, I can go to Add Effect, and I'll do Glow. And you'll notice that now uh, I'm glowing right there, as opposed to over here I'm not. And uh, the way you can edit that effect is you right click that effect, select it, and then go down to your sequence button right here. And you'll have some options for it, such as in this case, threshold, that's the intensity. So if I turn that way up, oh, I guess if I turn it way down, it makes me brighter. Uh, boost factor, turn that up. Ooh, now I'm really glowing. You can barely see me. Now, you do have to be careful, uh, not careful, but when you're playing with effects, some effects take a lot of the system, especially something like this, if I turn that boost way up. If I try to play the video now, the audio plays, but you see the video is playing a little slow, and that's just in the playback. If you, when you go to render it, it will obviously render it out and play fine, but just know that effects can slow down the playback during editing. Now, as I said, there's only a few built into Blender, but if you do a web search, and I'll give you a link uh, in the description to this site, this is one site that has a list of effects for the Blender sequencer. You can go through, you can read what each one does. Uh, I'm going to show you a few today. Uh, Robocop is one that I like, and then uh, this uh, sweeper down here does some transitions, and the way you you download one of these is you just take it, you choose the one you want, uh, in this case I'll grab the Robocop one, uh, you choose the correct one for your operating system, in my case Linux Shared Lib, if you're running 64-bit make sure you download 64-bit and save it, I've already saved it so I'm going to click cancel there. Now I can choose this uh, clip right here, I can go add effect plugin then I go to where I have that save, which I have on my desktop, and I'm going to choose Robocop Linux SO. Select the plugin, put it right there, and you can see it's kind of given me some lines like a TV and discolored the video. So I kind of like a Robocop view. Once again, you have some options down here. You can increase the thickness of the lines in the video or decrease them if you want. And the other options for this one are basically just colors. If you want to make it more blue, turn up the blue. If you want to make it more red, turn up the red. And turn the green and yellow or green and blue down. Well, that's odd. Turning red up made everything kind of blue. Anyway, uh, play with those colors. You know, you can get how you like it. And uh, so that's one effect. Once I said, there's plenty at this site. The other one was the sweeper one, which is a transition one. So I'm going to erase our crossfade here, our gamma cross, right click it, delete, yes. And I will select this video to this video, because that's the direction I want the transition going in. And I'm going to go add effect plugin. Go to where I have the sweeper plugin uh, downloaded to, sweeper Linux uh, uh, SO there. Select that plugin. And now, You'll see as we go, it does a little, if you're watching the preview up here, it sweeps across from one video to the other. Obviously, the length of the transition, just as before, depends on how much they're overlapping here. If you want the transition to be shorter, uh, select the video here, grab it, and move it down shorter. Remember, uh, we're working in NTSC, so 30 frames is one second so you can see how many frames you go to from here which is we are at 1202 to uh, 1297 so that's about three seconds right there that transition once again uh, if we press play it's a little slower doing the transition because of the effect it'll eventually catch up you can see the video going faster there so the transition can slow down playback. You won't get that once you render it out. Options for this, click it, obviously choose a sequence button. And down here you just have types. And uh, according to the description, there's 19 types. I haven't gone through them all, but it's just basically where the swipe, the sweep comes in from. So here it's going from left to right. 
if we just click over to two, we can go, it goes from right to left. Actually, we started at zero, so now we're on two. It goes from bottom to top. Three is top to bottom. Four is an angle there from top left to bottom right. So you can see you have all these different swipe movements now that you can do in the Blender sequencer. So hopefully I'm showing you with these tutorials that Blender is a pretty powerful um, tool. It's not designed necessarily for video editing. It's obviously a 3D uh, animator, but it does let you do short clips. So if you're creating a short little cartoon, you don't need a separate video editor to edit them. I uh, hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this. That link's in the description and a link to this uh, Blender plugin uh, site is also going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. Feel free to rate and comment.